Today we're going to talk about Uber Pro and we're going to answer the 10 most frequently asked questions about this program. Last week we uh, let you know about the new Uber Pro program and, in that, and since that time we've received lots and lots of feedback with some screenshots from drivers who are in the, some of the test markets and also lots of questions. So we're going to go ahead and post those 10 questions and I'm going to answer them for you and stick around at the end of the video I'll give you my updated opinion on this a new program. So hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. Top 10 questions, let's get right into it. Question number one is, do drivers start at ground zero or are your previous driving uh, habits and accomplishments taken into account? Well, as you can see here on this screenshot, uh, definitely your previous <laughs> accomplishments are taken into account. Everyone does not start at ground zero. Uh, as you can see here, uh, if you're in the program in the test market, uh, you'll be notified of what your current status is. Now that doesn't mean that you're stuck with that status, right? Uh, you can do a lot of driving and, and, and hit the different marks and once you move up to the level, then you'll, be, then you'll be notified that you've reached the next level. Question number two is, when is it coming to my city? So there are eight cities that have been selected that are like the test markets. and You'll see those on the screen and they're going to be testing this over the next few months and they're going to uh, take in some feedback and make some improvements and then uh, assuming all goes well then they're going to roll it out to more markets and eventually the whole country question number three is what will happen to the quest bonus well the quest bonus will now be available to gold platinum and diamond level drivers so nothing's really changed but if you're just a partner that means you're just getting started you won't, be avail you won't be able to get those quest bonuses offered to you until you've reached the minimum level, which is gold. Or is, is Uber still going to take commissions from drivers that, that achieve the gold, the platinum, or the diamond level? And the, and the answer is yes. Whatever your current commission cut is, that's going to remain the same. So for example, in my case, I'm at 75%. So Uber is still going to take their 25% out of my normal uh, driving. But on top of that, let's say I'm at the diamond level, I'm going to earn an extra 6% on all my time and distance earnings. Now what I want to show you right now is a screenshot. You can see how the, uh, there's a line item for the extra earnings that you get per trip. So in this case, we can see that um, Dan, who sent us these screenshots, uh, in the example on the left, he got a diamond reward of an extra 90 cents. And then on the shorter trip to the right, he got a diamond reward of 14 cents. Question number five is, will part-timers be eligible for this? And the answer is absolutely yes. And if you, if you do it right, uh, you can absolutely qualify for gold, diamond, or even platinum as a part-time driver uh, if you work it smart. Now, some of the rides uh, give you one point, and some of the rides, depending on the time of the day, give you three points. So let me break it down for you. So for this example, we're going to say that the goal is 300 points in three months. And for some of the test markets, that's the goal to reach the first level called gold. So let's say you're a part-time driver and you wanted to get a gold status. You would need 300 points in three months. That breaks out to 100 points uh, per month or 25 points per week, right? Now you got a couple of options. So here's option number one right here. Okay, you can see right option number one which is uh, you could do 25 rides in a week, right? If each, if each ride is worth a point, you need 25 points, you could do 25 rides in a week. Now, in order to get 25 rides, let's say you can do three rides per hour. So we go 25 divided by three, and that would put us at eight hours, okay? So that's option number one. Now, option number two is to drive during what Uber's calling three-point hours. These are hours where instead of getting just one point, you can get three points, and they're very similar to Lyft's uh, peak hours. So as you can see here, Monday through Friday, 7 to 10 a.m. Uh, that's morning rush, 5 to 7 p.m. afternoon rush, and then late night. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday have special hours. So now basically you can divide everything by three. So instead of 25 rides, you would only need eight, right? Because eight times three would give you the 24 or 25. Um, if you did three rides per hour, you would only need three hours. Three hours to get that first, uh, that first level. So um, Definitely doable if you're part-timer, uh, go for it. Question number six is a great question. Can you show me how this is gonna work in real like dollars and cents? So I'm gonna break out an example for you right now. 
So let's look at some real dollars here. So we're going to make some assumptions. First, that you you earn fifteen hundred dollars, one thousand five hundred dollar earnings in one week. You work forty hours, and you do three rides per hour for a total of one hundred and twenty rides. You are diamond level, so that means you are you are entitled to a six percent bonus on time and distance figures only. So what we have to subtract here is the base rate. Okay, the base rate, which in San Francisco is $1.50 per ride. So that means we're going to subtract $180. And then I'm estimating approximately $100 in surge. Okay, because we're not going to get that 6% on surge. So in total, we're going to subtract $280. So over here, you can see $1,500 less the $180, less the $100. Uh, it comes out to $1,220. Now the bonus does get applied to time and distance, and that's all that we have left. So 6% times 1220 gives you $73.20 per week. And if you did that for 50 weeks, then your total bonus would be $3,660, which is pretty great considering uh, before Uber Pro, you didn't, get that, you didn't get that money. So the things to remember are it's time and distance only. And, um, and as you saw in a previous uh, screenshot, uh, each ride will show you exactly what you've earned. Question number seven is, how does Uber Pro work in my specific city? So I'm going to show you this, uh, this screen here, and you can look at your particular market and see exactly what you need to qualify at the different levels. Uh, if you're not in any of these eight markets, Uber Pro is not in your market yet, and for that reason you won't, uh, you won't have any requirements yet. Question number eight is, how do we know our acceptance rate? Well, if you're in the Uber Pro program, uh, you'll be able to look at it right on your app. So we have this nice screenshot that was sent in to us, sent in to us by Daniel, who uh, is a diamond. And as you can see, he's got a, a rating of 4.93, that's a star rating, a 97% acceptance rate, and a 1% cancellation rate. So, so if you're in the program, you'll be able to see it right there on your app. Question number nine is, how do I maintain my tier status? Well, that's simple. You just got to keep hitting those numbers every three months. And as long as you maintain those figures, uh, then you're going to maintain your status. If you don't hit those numbers, you may drop down a level. And if you're at, a, say, a gold and your numbers go up, then you could all of a sudden be a diamond level. But it's all based on your driving, your acceptance rate, and your cancellation rate. Final question is, how are the star rating and the cancellation ratings calculated? Well, the star rating is based on your last 500 rides. So it's just an average of all the rides that you've had and what your passengers have rated you. Now, if you only have, say, 200 rides, say you're just getting started, it's just going to be an average of those 200 all the way up to 500. So if you have 10,000 rides, it's only going to look at the last 500 that you've given uh, to calculate your star rating. Now, your cancellation rate is simply a fraction. So let's say you gave 100 rides, but of those 100 people, you canceled on five, OK? Then you're going to have a cancellation rate of 5 over 100. That would be a 5% cancellation rate. So anytime you cancel on a ride, that counts as a cancellation. And that goes against your total of all the rides that you've got. So those are all great questions. Thanks so much for sending us those questions, because when we answer them, it really helps everybody out there. So where am I? Well, I'm going to say that I'm like a lot of drivers where I'm really on the fence. Uh, the earnings aren't quite as much as I thought. Um, there's a lot, you know, a few more stipulations that I didn't understand first time around. But still, I got to give it up for Uber and say, you know, at least you're trying. You're giving us a program where we can earn some extra money and where we can reduce our expenses and we can even help put, put a kid through college. So good job, Uber. And I'll be real curious to see what happens as they test this out and they make little tweaks here and there and starts to get rolled out nationally. Hey, now, if you haven't signed up yet for the, uh, the Rideshare Guys YouTube channel, by all means do. It's awesome, and you're going to get lots of great information for Rideshare drivers. This is Jay Crater. I want to say thanks for watching. You've got to have a great day. Be safe out there.